comment. Yeah, I see what you mean. Hello, no. Oh. We have a taker. Or maybe we don't. He was, he was like a taster. He was a professional taster, I think. Very great tit. They don't normally eat anything. Send him down. He's not very delicate palate. So, see what you think of those. This is only a few minutes later, so they they've come pretty quick. Oh no! Now he's got babies. It'd be interesting to see. I know there's a blackbird's nest. And normally he takes home several mealworms, that's live mealworms, in his beak at the same time, a bit like a puffin. But, uh, uh, I don't think he could, because the blackbird's beak is a bit stronger than the little bird's beak. So if he, um, <coughs> if he really closes his, what do you call, mandibles, that's the top and bottom bit, onto mealworms, the dried ones will probably just break it off. That's my theory. Oh. I could sit and watch this sort of thing for ages. Um, <laughs> and in fact I do. Absolute routine, having had my breakfast down the road maybe, it's come back here, feed the birds, it's been up as nine by then, and just take half an hour, often with the camera, and you start setting yourself little challenges. Oh, I haven't got a picture of a blackbird with lots of mealworms in its mouth. I found found a few blackbird feathers the other day, <coughs> they were around here, um, and I thought maybe something had got it, was it a cat or a fox, but uh, I haven't seen blackbird either, that one with um, missing feathers, or even worse, it had actually been killed, well, so I think he might have got away with it. There's, He's got a slightly tatty tail, and you can, most birds can lose a few feathers without much damage. It's not like uh, some lizards which leave their tail behind. But a few feathers out of your tail, yeah. They're not vain, and they lose a lot of feathers anyway, um, going in and out of the nest at the moment. Busy time. Oops, here he comes. It's the swooping robin. What about? Probably perch on the owl. Oh, the, they, they're so wet, so belligerent to one or another. Robins are really, really stroppy with one another. But if a blue tit or something comes in, they go, no, oh, no, go on, you first. To here. Snipe. Oh, that snipe. I mean, isn't that sweet little, just a little snatch of song. That clattering was a few of the pigeons going. There's, there's still one or two down there, though. If there's a clumsier bird in the garden, I really don't want to see it than a pigeon. One of these feral pigeons, they, they simply don't notice what they're walking on. And the number of times they've sort of knocked over one of my highly realistic little animals, but presumably they realise they're not, because they just jump on them or fall on them. And when they get around the edge of the pond, or one of the ponds, they often fall in. To admit, I know a lot of people uh, get annoyed about pigeons taking the bird food, and I do sympathise because there are mornings when I do, and I put a nice new suet block 
and it's it's crumbled down to virtually nothing, and it's it's pigeons. It's, it's two or three of them often hanging on that and pecking away. You know, they get through it very quickly. And obviously anything scattered on the floor they'll get through very quickly. Which is why I use a little cage type um, feeder in which you can put certainly mealworms, excellent for that. And it just had little holes in the side. So Jay nearly came in there. And you can usually tell when the Jay's around because the little birds get a bit, a bit edgy and excited. All that noise now. Ooh, J, 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 J. That's great. J on peanuts, but in a feeder that is really meant for blue tits and great tits and things like that. And when I started feeding the birds in the garden, I was amazed how quickly big birds like jays and magpies learnt, first of all, to sort of hover over the food and then to dangle on the food just like a little blue tit would, you know, have a swing at the same time. They don't muck about, do they? It's more like it. A bit more natural pose up on the tree. Nice curvy branch. There'll be a panic in a minute, that's what usually happens. Jay flies and then all these oh, he's gone. <laughs> Bang on cue. 